We can do that for dragon let's get him his account tune up going here we do have v4 total because i mean if you take a look at the queen he's just one note away which is about nine hundred thousand. this is about nine hundred thousand alone just right there um so i imagine you probably don't have many crystals yeah you're six months plus out on another trance or probably actually how fast can you actually get these crystals now i imagine you can get within six months especially if you're buying like a core every single day yeah oh my goodness why do you have so many somber eggs what are you doing why are there so many somber eggs here what's happening why are you not just popping them why are you waiting what's what what dragon what you doing man when you have this many sombers you just keep popping them chances are one of them's going to be the third one anyway and then you're also going to want to keep popping them anyway to get duplicates to get resources to up it past level 30. i mean that's my i mean that's how i got all my star spawns I, it, when i had that many sombers i just kept popping them like just over and over there's no point not save one of them just in case you use all of them because technically i mean you already have the other two so yeah nick says you're getting about 1.4 million crystals a month that's pretty good it's actually really good that's really good so like three and a half months to four months you can actually get another transcendence hero that's actually really good it's getting to the point where you might actually be able to build every hero right because there's five million 1.4 goes in that what 3.5 times roughly 3.5 that's pretty good Man, if people could start being on the build like free to play, not free to play, but probably monthly card because you know you need the gem income to be able to buy cores daily. So I'd say low spenders could probably get there. And you are VIP eight, so I imagine you probably get the cards. Oh, you don't actually get the privilege card, so maybe not. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, we got to figure out who to be building next. So let's check out your sea lands because of course sea land is probably one of the most important things to look at. Abyss is the only thing that is left, kind of like everybody else's account. You got some Delaciums, you got a Morax copy, you have one chest and another Delacium. So honestly, if you want to first prioritize finishing Sealand so that all your damage is increased in the Void, you're gonna wanna try to get an Abyss hero leveled up. Probably Delacium just because you already have so many copies, unless you have a ton of Cthugas here. But my eyes are not catching Cthuga anywhere here. So, I mean, Delacium, you already have what? One copy, two, three, four. You already have a 10 star. Now, technically, a 10 star can do it with the proper support, but because you have a V4, uh, any one of the Abyss heroes, whether it's Morax, Delacium, or Cthulhu, they can all do Sea Land 20 just fine with all that. Nick with the resub five months. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, he has got a lot of orange artifacts here. Makes me jealous. Got 11 of them. All right, let's check out the Hero Zone and see what they're set up as. Do a speed attack with an Antler's Cane. I feel like it should be this, unless you're doing some PvE stuff. Oh, yeah, you're probably doing some PvE stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you got the right idea, the right setup. Speed attack with an A and B. Of course, just change this to uh, unbending and change the mightiness over to vitality for HP. You forgot to replace it. <laughs> Here, I'll do it for you real quick. Just in case you made the mistake and you don't forget before you start smashing some PvP action. All right, let's just do that. Let's get that. Let's get that. God boy, you, you always get me with those every time. Uh, what are you using here? Crit, crit damage, and holy damage. Yeah, again, this is your pve setup i imagine otherwise you're going to want to drop over to the damage reduction which is good uh let's check the other artifacts we have we have energy here with speed attack is decent russell's just fallen very far from the pvp meta we do have a traditional speed attack or uh speed hp tanky mode ada which is cool i like that carry speed attack with energy is perfect 
Rogan, Speed HP. Yeah, I mean, you've got like really good gear setups. You do have an upgraded Kiss of Ghost, which is really, really important. And that is going to help you get that C lane 20 done if you build the Delacium because you don't need like Punisher or any of that. You want a Kiss of Ghost, you want that healing. So if you do build the Delacium for Abyss C land, that should not be a problem. Speed HP, no split gear, but uh, speedy build is good. Ticks, we got that upgrade Punisher. Very, very easy to get some good progress in. So you're getting really close also to the point of pushing in Vortex. Okay. That's interesting. You already have the Queen. You have a Tix. You need to, of course, work on some Ignis. Another Tix. I mean, you're still a ways away, but because you have everything but Abyss Sea Land done, which, again, you, you kind of want to get that Abyss Sea Land done. Why? Because in the Void Temple, uh, you are missing out on damage against Fortress Heroes by 30% in every single game mode, which does make quite a difference so that's something you should really try to focus on you are level 350 and you have a tick so you definitely have tower done yeah tower is done you're good there uh i mean yeah you're in a pretty good spot here galactic trees working away um void arc you're probably kind of falling a little bit behind on realms gate what do you have a max of 42 that's not too bad that's not too bad Void Vortex, you are an explorer. So yeah, you're kind of in a holding pattern in explorer because you don't have what you need to really push to Valiant. You need at least a couple of like 10 star Ignis. Optimally, you want to start trying to grind out some demon bells, get some energy feed going on, all that stuff for... What should I do with the bell rain? Hmm. What do your scrolls look like? 288. So there's probably no chance you're scrolling at anniversary. Ah, oh, man, oh man. I mean, you have a lot of light food laying around, if I remember correctly. You got like, a, not a lot, but you have a, an okay amount. You could use her as food. There's really no point in making her E5, honestly. Swap with 2C? Yeah, no. <laughs> Either that or honestly, like maybe get some more Ada or, I mean... You could just save her and let her sit until you find a light hero you want. <laughs> and then just swap them into her because I imagine you have soul stones, right? Yeah, you got 15 soul symbols. Not soul stones, soul symbols. So, I mean, yeah, you're, you're in a good spot, but you're in this really weird transition where you have a lot of the easy game modes done. And really, the only game mode to push is Void Arc and Realms. I mean, Realms Gate is not even that important. It's really... Void Arc and Void Vortex, Void Vortex, Vortex being kind of the bigger one. Void Arc, simply start building more E5 heroes. It will be the best way to get more progression there. But besides that, if you don't have any other questions, I mean, literally, build that Delacium up. You got the upgraded Kiss of Ghost. You got V4. You slap those on, and you'll pretty much get a C Land 20 done very, very easily. Should I make a Faith Blade? Nah. <laughs> No, nah, I don't I don't think you should build a faith blade. <laughs> Next dark hero. Well, Drake. Because you're building Drake. <laughs> you don't start on the next one until this one is done. Um Still not a fan of Forces right now. He doesn't do enough. I'd say probably build a second carry after the Drake. Amin Ra. She kinda like has some fringe uses in the meta. She can be a good utility hero in the Vortex as well for your six slot. Because typically you're going to have Scarlet Queen, two ticks, two Ignis, and then a utility slot that it's either going to be a Rogan, an Amon Ra, a carry, something like that to help support your team based on who the enemy has for heroes. So, but yeah, four C's, I totally agree. He's a very squishy hero. Right now in the meta, he doesn't really affect it much because there's less Rogans being used, so there's not as much use for him. And as people get more Void Imprints, his big impending Doom nuke isn't doing as much damage and one-shotting people like it was before. So that is something to consider. I know there's a lot of people who love their forces out there, but not sure who. I mean, finish the Drake up, honestly, and then move to carry. Just save the Bell Rain until you find someone to swap. Build up a Delacium. E penny copies. You can build an Eno if you want. Not really needed. And then you do have this random six-star Ithaca. 
you could build an Ithka for Void Arc Boss. That could actually be one of your best next projects is actually working on an Ithaqua. Before you build an Ignis, another Tix, anything like that, an Ithaqua could definitely help you with Void Arc Boss damage. You were planning on the Ithaqua? Yeah, I think that's probably your best bet for your next one. You got eight copies. That works pretty good. And yeah, I mean, just keep saving up relics. You're going to need to keep buying artifacts. You already have these splendid punisher staff so unless you really care about pvp i would honestly start investing in demon bells and trying to get splendid demon bells and once you get there i think you'll be in a much better spot on this account as far as progressing in probably what is probably like the most hated game mode in the world void vortex so if you have any other questions let me know we'll try to answer it but i think i do think it was probably your next best bet for building mainly for this right here void arc